Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. And today I am here to unbox the Spirit Seeker Oracle. Now I posted recently in my <laughs> post um, a bunch of decks that I got in. I was feeling a little overwhelmed and I was like, I don't know, which, which should I open first? And a lot of people said they wanted to see this one. Kind of shocked me because um, I thought a lot of people had already unboxed this. I was pretty sure I saw a lot of videos come through my subscription feed or whatever but I people wanted to see it so this one got the most votes so I'm opening it first and it came with some goodies it came with some um, prints a bookmark and a certificate of authenticity and I also added on this the spread cloth because I thought it was I love the color of it in the screen and I didn't know if I was gonna like it when I got it but I got it and I actually really like it it's pretty so um, the color it was true and yeah and it's like um, this is, you can feel this. So it's printed on with paint or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is neat and it's pretty. And so you'll probably be seeing it in my videos maybe next year. So yeah, and it's velvet, which I do love a good velvet spread. I like I like these, um, I like for, to, for my cards to have a soft place to land. So this is nice to have, um, for my working, my, my card working space or whatever. So this is, yeah, I'm excited to have that. And then this is the deck. So let's take a look. That's all that came in my order. I'm not sure. I know other people, I think there were lots of add-ons. I didn't add, I just added the, the, um, the cloth because I thought it was, I couldn't pass it up. It was too pretty. <laughs> I really liked the color on it. And I thought it would look nice with this. So here's the deck. Oh, this is the back of it. It's a 64 card deck um, by Nikki Ferrarda. Ferrarda, yes. I never picked up the tarot. Um, not that I didn't think it was beautiful. I did. And I loved the box it came in. I loved the backs. But you can't buy, I can't buy decks based on the backs <laughs> in the box. Um, so I, I passed on it. But I, this I thought was cool when I saw it on on um i don't know i have i don't know i saw it on kickstarter and i really liked i really liked it so i can free it we'll take a look <laughs> okay all right i got it out of its prison and it does come in the similar style i love these boxes that open like this it just feels special and i feel like tarot cards should come in special things <laughs> My favorite kind of box because of storage solutions is a tuck box. But if I got to have a hard box, this is my favorite. Um, so it says, with a great leap, you fly through the seeker's portal. You walk the path following the stars. They guide you to your deepest truth. And there's nothing on the, oh, it says, connect with your authentic self. Release what is no longer needed. Open up to your deepest desires and truths. That's the all right, the cards out. Okay, so there's 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 a key in here. Um, so that's nice, and that's the box. Very pretty. It's it's like um this is a soft mat, soft touch mat. It's almost rose petal, but not quite. The book is a satin, a satin, a semi gloss satin, and it's magazine. I would say magazine style. So this is soft. The cover is soft. The 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 um it's harder than the this is thicker than the pages but still soft for a book and i like that it's, it's bendy so i'm not going to be fighting trying to open it because i feel like whenever we get these perfect bound books i'm always fighting trying to get in them but this one is nice and bendy and i can um open it with no problem so yay thank you to nikki for that shout out to nikki for giving us a soft cover and then <laughs> saving my wrists the trouble the guidebook is I can read this even though there's a lot of words on this page I can read it so and I have I wear glasses and I do have trouble seeing sometimes so I'm happy to be able to read that um let's see so the front here's our we do have a table of contents how to use a deck preparing for a reading some spreads then the cards one through 48 the guides the gifts okay so it looks like the cards are broken up into three sections and then a little bit about the creator so let's Let's look at the about the deck. The Star Seeker Oracle is a 64 card deck created to guide you through life as a seeker and dreamer. This deck is a place where you can come to connect with new parts of yourself, discard the old and outdated and up, open up 
to your deepest desires and truths. Well, we, we like a deck that can help us do that. <laughs> it says, our journey begins with a great leap through the portal into the world of wonder and dreams. If you own the Star Seeker Tarot deck, you may be familiar with this world. Even if you don't, it may call to you and feel familiar. The land, sea, and sky of the Star Seekers is one of magic and mundane, bound together in a single breath. This is the land that lives within me, something in between a parallel dimension and a fairy tale. I think for many sensitives, dreamers, and healers, life is reflected in a similar multidimensional way. Dream and reality bleed together, adding beautiful layers and depth to life. Like the Star Seeker Tarot, this deck is a reminder that the bridge between daydream and reality is shorter than we know. This is beautifully written. Beautifully written. I kind of want to read the whole thing, but I don't want to keep you here. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll just jump on to, but this is beautifully written and I'm looking forward to more, to reading more of this later. How to Use the Deck talks about the different sections of the deck and I'm going to read these as we're doing the flip through so that way you can remember. <laughs> Meditation for connecting and grounding, that's nice to have. Asking for guidance, then there's some spreads. Oh, there's a lot of spreads in here. And then it gets right into the portal. It gets right into the card. And we'll read it at the end. Let's see what's at the end. I'll pick a card and read from one of these at the end. And then about the creator. Nikki is a tarot reader, teacher, and creator. Also a daydreamer and adventurer seeker. She enjoys life with her sweet husband and their lovely dog and two kitties. <laughs> she released the Star Seeker Tarot in 2020. And her third deck is in the works. All right, people. She's got another deck coming. This is where you can find her stuff. Of course, I'll put it in the description box below. She thanked us, the Kickstarter backers. And I am very excited to take a look at these. It's a nice chunky Oracle deck. It has beautiful purple, almost sparkly edges. You can't see it in here. You can't see it in the video, but they are a little bit sparkly. The It's a satin mat. So they are not, they don't, this is not rose petal. I think the other deck, now I don't have the other deck to, to be sure, but I think it was rose petal finish. This one is not, it's satin matte. It is tarot size. I love a tarot size oracle card. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Let me see. The thickness, yeah, they're pretty thick. I don't know if I'll be able to riffle shuffle them, but I'm sure I'll be able to overhand them. But yeah, they're pretty. These are pretty, pretty sturdy, pretty thick. And this beautiful lavender sparkly edge is giving me life. Now, this is a little scratchy. Um, I, this matte edging can be that way sometimes. So just be aware of that. But this feels very nice, very smooth, buttery smooth. All right, let's zoom in. And then I'm going to read from the guidebook a little bit about the first section. And then we'll do, we'll, we'll flip through the card. In the, the guidebook, it says, and I'm just going to put that up so you can read it if you'd like to read it for yourself. It says, this deck is composed of three sections. The first and largest being the seeker's journey. Um, represents the wheel of our life, our shared experiences and emotion. The wheel turns and takes us on a wild and beautiful journey. Contemplation, healing, clearing, peace, alongside aloneness, change, anguish, and shadow. The seeker's journey concludes with death, transformation, and new life to remind you that nothing truly ends, all things turn into something else, and the cycle begins again. Right. All right. So we start with our portal and we're off on our journey. This card is beautiful. I think it's stunning. <laughs> I love the way that the stairs are, are moving through the portal. So it's not like we have to jump through or fly through. It doesn't make it feel unattainable to get through this portal to this other side. We can walk right up the stairs and step through, right? And I like that. All right. We got contemplation. Uh, the the water in the background of this is gorgeous. It's glowing. It's literally glowing. I like the veil. Um, it's pulled back so that you can see through it, but I like that it's there, you know? Exp explore. Healing waters. Lots of water in this. clearing wow washing it away right clearing through i mean it's coming out of her eyes coming out of her it's washing through her over her and through her 
different kinds of water. I see ocean water here, and then this is, you know, water being poured onto her. There's water in the background. It really does feel like a purging, um, or, you know, like she's, it's pouring out. It's really purging out of her, right? Pushing out of her. Like it had to be done or it was going to overflow. And that's what happens with emotions. If you let them build and build, eventually they'll overflow on their own. There's nothing you can do about it. So it's best to empty it before it happens. But sometimes we don't think to do it or we get busy or we don't want to do it. We're afraid. This one is inner peace. Patience. <laughs> She looks naughty. Like, oh no, her eyes are closed. I thought she was looking that way. And I was like, what is she up to? <laughs> Sacred workspace. Fear. I like the border. I thought at first that it was going to be like a starch white, but they're a little bit of a, they're kind of creamy. Um, I like them better on cards like this than I do on cards like this. But it does bring it all together. So that's nice. I wonder if, if I would prefer them borderless. But I guess I'll never know. <laughs> Ritual. That one is intuition. Stuck. Oh, she really does feel stuck. She feels stuck in this card. Like she, um, she's too big for the space, right? Too big for the card. It's like she wasn't supposed to be there anyway. Movement. change again another bridge to I almost wanted to say bridge to Terabithia but another bridge to a portal <laughs> gratitude so the water we're, we're done with water now we're on to what looks like earth do we have fire did I miss it let me see it's like a mix right because we've got earth earth fire 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 water Fire. I don't know. That's just she's poor thing is stuck in there. Air and so I guess we could think of that as air and then back to earth. So it's mixed up. It's not in any order. Anything here. Gratitude. Definitely earthy. Fire. Breakthrough. This is gorgeous. She's literally breaking it apart with her hand. She's got the key on her thumb. And what is this coming down her wrist? I wonder if it says in the guidebook. Let's look. 17. The unbreakable stone has been in your care since childhood, passed down through your family. This object has been a puzzle for many years and most have lost interest. It's said that there is a secret to its opening and once it opens, a magical power is revealed. You've long traveled and studied, searching for clues. You've been dedicated you've been dedicated but you are beginning to tire of this fruitless quest and you find yourself longing for a simple life until one day while holding this stone you drift into a meditative state you hear a song so you sing it and the stone opens breakthrough often appears after a long period of pushing and sometimes when you least expect it this is a sudden realization or a sense of clarity around something you have been unable to resolve you have new information, which is opening a new door for you. Having a breakthrough is empowering suddenly. Is empowering. Suddenly you can see what was hidden, but it can also overwhelm. Embrace the newfound sense of power and find healthy ways to manage any stress that arises. Empathy, sudden realization, overcoming obstacles, progress, and reversed keywords are setback, roadblock, and delay and challenge. Okay. So it doesn't mention um what we're seeing on her wrist and her fingers there but i think we can intuit all right abundance that's beautiful burden it almost looks like the her almost looks like a hermit card and it's interesting to think about the hermit card in this in the um along with a, in a sense of burden you know what I mean like it's just interesting to think about not to say that that's what it means or anything but just that it's interesting to consider open to receive I like this it's almost that moment when you're having a massage and she pushes down on your shoulders to open you up 
or even if you're doing like partner yoga and they push down on your shoulders to open you up because we're always scrunching them up right and when they push down it almost feels you get a little nervous but then you just kind of open up and let your chest be open connection comfort oh this is sweet look at the i don't know if you guys can see the detail on that wall but i mean this is collage art so i think that nikki has collaged um an actual wall back there <laughs> and i can see the texture and it's beautiful another portal with a sunrise past another portal but it's like way back there way back there it's like do you really want to go back there <laughs> it's a long walk okay path of shadows mm, I definitely don't want to go down there anguish okay so we're getting into the darker cards now fury okay six and two is eight eight is a, a very much a movement card a movement number so fury awakening nine ten is clarity or one okay yeah so the numerology seems to be working because i thought oh she put all of the ones first and all the um positive first and all of the sort of other side i don't want to say negative but all of the other side after will the numbers match up they seem to be doing okay so we've got nine and two which is 11 which makes two confusion okay You've got two sides of something that bad it works three for quest yep expansion discipline for four yep so the numbers seem to be working you could use numerology with the numbers good suppression protection depletion Ooh. falling this is very serene for a falling card it just feels so quiet Almost as if, like, when they hit the ground, we won't even hear it. You know what I mean? There's no, it doesn't feel like she's screaming or anything. Just, it's very quiet for a falling card. Which makes me want to say, like, did she jump? You know what I mean? Like, is she asleep? Is she falling because she, she went so far that she passed out and couldn't go any further? What's happening here? Flow. freedom I love the way not only is she flying but she's literally pulling a Peter Pan naked I'm here for it rest <laughs> I'm here for it joy ah speaking of Peter and them grounding these are gorgeous this artwork is very pretty conflict i didn't pick up the um tarot because i because i wasn't sure about the artwork but with oracle i'm less picky about my artwork and i really liked what i saw of this deck on kickstarter i really liked it i liked the keywords and i liked the vibe um and i really wanted to try it so we've got future time travel inner power um i've always wanted to try one of these decks but now that i'm looking at this amends i actually really love this artwork a lot death so if the tarot is like this then i would probably like it um transformation and then the last one in this seeker's journey is new life okay so now we're on to the 12 guides the guides appear to offer new energy, advice, and direction. Each guide represents a different helping energy or archetype. These cards will often represent energy or people outside of you, but they can also represent aspects of yourself that need to step forward and take the reins. I like that aspect of yourself. I'm yeah. seeing archetypes are, you know, can also always be aspects of yourself. Or I like this, the masked one. There's a hand here. There are hands. So is this hand covering his heart space and he's like hiding that and as well as his face or does it is it another person's hand 
reaching out of the darkness i'm oh i'm interested and this is kind of stuff where i wish there was like stuff about the art in the guidebook inner child for 51 but i can make up my own stories so secret keeper the student the storyteller The visionary. I love how the curtains are flying out of the window. There's the portals. All of the portals we went through in the in the on the journey. How can she get to them? I guess she's gonna have to go down. Priestess, the priestess. She's shrouded. And she has wings. The crater. Beautiful. The warrior. What is this, do you think? Wood or feathers? Let me know in the comments below what you think that is. And the hero. I think that's the last one. Oh no, the healer. <laughs> uh, is this giving me Frodo vibes or something like that? Like Lord of the Rings vibes? Maybe because of the ring and then the little hooded, hooded little person there. All right, and so then we're on to the gifts. There are four gifts in the deck and I liken them to the golden tickets of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. These are external opportunities or blessings that appear in life to guide and help you. They are often unexpected. If you are familiar with the aces of the tarot, they carry a similar energy. They are like flashes of inspiration that must be tended to in order to grow and thrive. And it says the border colors of each group vary slightly. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, these are purple, right? And the other ones were like a, were like a, these are like um, cream colored. Huh, I didn't even notice that. So it says you will notice the border colors for each group very slightly. This way, when you're doing a reading, you can easily see which card belongs to each group. That's cool. An example of how this can be helpful. If you pull mostly guides in your reading, you may want to focus on finding more outside help. Look at that. And this one is like an iridescent. So the, the journey had a, a sort of a creamy color border. And then the archetypes have a lavender color border. And then these gifts, um, these gifts have a sort of iridescent lavender border. I don't know if you can see how they're, they're iridescent here. And then there are, I think these are Kickstarter cards. I think these were like, I'm not sure what these, what's going on here, but these have also a beige, beigey border, like the journey cards. All right, so the gifts are the mirror, the map, which is all broken up. Like, I mean, if you're going to give me a map, at least put it in one piece. That's some bullshit. All right, the key <laughs> and the seed. And then there are what look like some affirmation cards here. I am unafraid and free. It is a blessing to be me. It is safe to trust myself. I embrace the mysteries of life. I release the need to know. I am passionate. I am determined. I am capable of creating anything I desire. Beautiful. And they're all different colors. So, yeah. Those are nice. I don't know if that was like a Kickstarter extra or what, but I like them. All right. Let's give them a shuffle. Let's see what's up. All right. I was afraid about um, being able to shuffle these, but they're actually, I think, bendy enough. Yep. See, I lied. I can shuffle them. I can shuffle them just fine. And because there's only 60 something cards and not a full 72 or 78, I can get my hands around them. They're not too thick for me to get all the cards in my hands at once. So I can, I can shuffle these very easily. And I have small hands. So if your hands are larger or even just normal size, you're not going to have any trouble shuffling these cards. No issues. They shuffle like riffle shuffle. Super easy. And let's see about the overhand. 
Yep. They clump a little, but I think that'll go away with use. Um, there's not much clump. Because it is a, it's a satin mat. It's not a flat, it's not the swishy mat, which doesn't clump at all. But there, I mean, you can see it's not super, it's not super clumpy. I got two cards there, you know. It's not super clumpy. Let me just show you the fan so you can see for yourself how much they clump. So you can see it's not super clumpy. It did fan. Um, all right. So let's pick a card. I like this one. We got Ritual, number 12. All right. So there it is if you want to read it for yourself. I'm going to read it aloud. Ritual. At the edge of the sea, all elements come together in preparation for your ritual. With the stability of stone, swiftness of wind, majesty of fire, and serenity of water, you feel held, inspired, and supported. On this day, you have prepared a ritual for release. With a quill and ink in hand, you unroll your papers and stare at the empty pages. These pages will be filled with everything you've wanted to release but haven't yet been able to. With the pages full, you will give them to the fire, feeling supported as you let it all go. Sometimes in waking life, you don't get the closure, reward, or healing you wanted. Ritual appears in a reading to show you another way. The fire ritual pictured in this card represents just one of many rituals. You are encouraged to seek out or create a ritual that feels right to you and your specific needs. Example, maybe you weren't taught to make space for your needs as a child. Perhaps you could create a daily ritual of self-care to heal this aspect of yourself. Keywords, ceremony, rite of passage, routine, celebration, closure. Reversed, lack of closure, and negative energy, chaos. The cards are reversible, so you can easily reverse them. There's, yeah, you would never be able to tell. So you could use them, um, you know, if you use reversals with oracles, there are keywords for reverse. So that is the Star Seeker Tarot. Let's see what they look like laid out with the different borders. If you can tell the suits you got. Yeah, I can tell. I mean, the borders are very close in color, not gonna lie. <laughs> like this is the iridescent one and this is the lavender one. And I mean, I can barely tell that with my naked eye. So I know you probably can't see it on um, on the camera. I, w I like the purple borders better. So I wish, cause there's more cards of, for the journey. I wish that it would have been purple borders for the journey and then <laughs> and then the the white the cream borders for the archetypes or um for the gifts or something but it's cool it is what it is i do like that i do like a um colored border so that's helpful see now i can see i've got all white all all journey cards so that's nice it's a nice it's a nice um touch you know to to help us along and being able to tell the different suits if you want to use those suits to read your oracle cards i do love these cards that feel so serene like this one is conflict but it, even the one that was what was it falling it felt so quiet and this is conflict but it feels so quiet i like the the um contrast there or whatever the irony of of it and i'm curious to dig into that some of these cards are really quite stunning. So I'm looking forward to working with it. I wonder what I could use it with. Let me see what I got around here. This is the Seeking Soul Tarot. Um, I won this in a giveaway a couple of months back and I'm curious to see how they would look together. It's not collage, it's drawings, illustrations, but they're similar color. Um, color story so let's see i don't know i think um yeah see similar very similar color story got the tower with future and the ace of cups okay so we're breaking it down so that you can have a better future Conflict with the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Two of Wands with Fear and the Knight of Wands. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, move, you know, like get going. Don't let the fear stop you. Don't get, you know, caught up in that analysis paralysis space. The better option right now is to pick up a way and go. Um, Ten of Swords with Fury, wow, and the Lovers. I like the way that this uh, looks together and it seems to want to read together. So yeah, we'll put them together. Why not? Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So there's this as an option. And it's soft. Like this is very soft, but it's not so soft that it's not serious. You know what I mean? And this is, this is going to be very serious. Like, it's going to be a really good, straightforward clarifier. Not like, you know, I don't think it's going to, like, pull punches. So this might soften the edges on this one a little bit. <laughs> Sacred Workspace with the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. And let's see what we get. Suppression. Wow. I don't like this image whatsoever. Um, that makes me very uncomfortable. I think it's supposed to, but <laughs> the squeezing of this bird makes me want to cry. It definitely makes me want to cry. Um, the warrior with the nine of cups, <laughs> who's not looking like much of a warrior, <laughs> and the high priestess. I don't know. I like them together. Let's try. There's one more. The darkness of light tarot. I think that... I mean, this is also, a, this is not a collage deck, but the treatment of the paintings, um, I think might, might be okay with this. So let's just see. Not bad. The Queen of Blades with Warrior and a Ten of Blades. <laughs> let's see. Two of Blades with Freedom and the Hermit. And that might be a little dark for it, huh? The joy with the Magician and the Queen of Wands. I didn't really shuffle them. I didn't shuffle them at all, actually, so. I really, I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think of this pairing? I kind of want to like it, but then I don't. I don't know why. Something about it is just not jiving with me. As far as the. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like static. Like um, when you put two open microphones together. You know? <laughs> it's not. They're not happy. I don't know. Uh, no, I'm not feeling that one. Let's see about one more. Let's try it with this one. This is the Meraki Tarot. This has a lot of natural elements in it. So let's see how this might look together. Meraki Tarot is very brightly colored, and this one is more muted. So I don't know, but we'll see. Let's see. Okay. So I've been using the Meraki Tarot for a um, the Drop on 78 along with the traditional Korean tarot. So you might see a lot of, like the cards might be grouped <laughs> together by suits, some of them, because I was using them and I didn't shuffle. This is nice. Yeah, I like this one. So yeah, I could probably use this one together as well. They're all very soft and dreamy. This deck, if you have the first edition with the uh, scalloped edges, it might look even better with this one because it has it would be bordered, and this one is bordered. So, but I don't mind it—the the mix of bordered and non-bordered. So yeah, we like the Rocky Tarot with it. All right, so that is it—the Star Seeker Oracle. So glad this one came to life. Um, very excited to have backed it on Kickstarter and received it and help it come to life a little bit. You know, give my little bit to help. And yeah, this is beautiful. I'm excited to use it. I have one other deck that came in recently that I have not opened yet that I want to try with it, but I'm not going to open it right now because I still want to do a walkthrough. But when I do that walkthrough, I'm going to try this deck with it. 
but I think that this is going to be good for using with tarot, clarifying with tarot. I know that it said in the guidebook that it's good to use instead of tarot. Um, and I think you could because it has plenty of cards and lots of different, um, it touches on a lot of different life things, you know, life journey things, uh, fool's journey things. But for me, I'll probably be using it with tarot. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you, uh, if you backed it, let me know how you've been using That's it. That's it. That's the first one from the list of decks that I still need to open. <laughs> um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me you can subscribe i release videos every few days regarding tarot and oracle i've got quite a few that still need to be walked through open talked about and all the things so you know watch the space for that if you want to see my thoughts on some other decks coming and yeah links in the description box below where you can pick up a legitimate copy of this one and until i see you next time stay safe and be blessed bye